In this lesson, we're going to be doing a little bit of scanning using Metasploit. Now, I am in the MSF console, and I've got that started up. I've actually switched into the workspace that I want to be working on here. And what I want to do at this point is I want to run an Nmap scan. I'm going to do an Nmap scan very similarly to what I would do on the command line or using Zenmap has the same switches that nmap does because it's really just passing it off into nmap directly same workings of how nmap would work on the command line in this case though i'm using a db underscore because the results are actually going to get populated inside of nmap's database i'm going to do a sin scan i want to do an operating system scan as well and i actually want to do 172.30.42.17 is the system I'm going to scan. It's going to run off and do the Nmap scan. And it's going to take a look at all of the ports that are open and then do an operating system guess. And you can see we've got the results here. And we've got a couple of ports that are open. Now that I've actually got some information populated in the database, I can take a look at what's in the database. If I type hosts, now I've got that one system in my hosts file or hosts part of the database. I can also take a look at the services that are there and you can see these are the services otherwise known as ports, although we've got some service names here as well. Now I could just for the fun of it, I could actually do another scan here. just to have a little something extra to populate the database with. We're gonna do another database scan, and then we'll have a couple of hosts in here that we'll be able to play with a little bit, and we'll have some additional services. Now I could do services here, and now I've got a number of different ports that are open. Now coming up, I want to do some service scanning and do some scanning based around particular services and in that case, I'm going to be looking across a whole network rather than just some individual hosts. We'll take a look at that, and we'll also be doing some working with Nessus so that we could look at vulnerabilities. Well, I could look at vulnerabilities within the database, too. Just type vulns, but I don't actually have a vulnerability scan that's been imported in yet, so there's no information populated in the database at this point. We'll be doing that coming up in the next few lessons.